Good morning, folks. Today we have some significant articles to hit. We've got some gorgeous eye candy and a road under the sea. Meanwhile, up at our star, things are quite calm at the moment. Solar flaring remains low. The CMEs have not been Earth-directed. And the solar wind at Earth is quite anemic. Very low plasma pressure range. In the days ahead, we will be monitoring these active regions on the south. They are morphing around a good bit, but not really growing yet. And we will also be watching for the solar wind enhancements this weekend from the incoming dark coronal hole on the north. Up next, we're taking a moment for the U.S. climate report. Below average in temperature this month, bottom right in the precipitation map, quite the drought building in the middle of the west. Folks, here's James Webb versus the previous best view. This is exceptionally telling of how much better the new satellite telescope is than its predecessors. Amazing sharpness bringing out dusty filaments where the stars stand out like pearls on a string, and newly seen stars in the background in very distant galaxies. An excellent deep dive here into the solar influence over heart attacks. Not a new concept, but a major breakdown here of different classes of myocardial infarction. Folks, many of you are asking about this, and yep, looks like a road under the sea. They're trying to say it's a natural formation, made by repeated heating and volcanic events. Got to admit, that's a tough pill to swallow, given the homogeneity of the pattern. Can't say for sure it's an ancient road that sank into the sea during the last disaster, but it definitely does not look like a random breakup that happens to take on such an appearance. Last but not least, looking at paleo intensity variations in the past in terms of Earth modeling, had to laugh at the last line of the abstract, as this is truly where the field is. There is complex math, supercomputers, and yet, they really just have no idea if they are describing the Earth with those models or not. But a diamond in the rough, which was indeed rough in their data set choice back past the Holocene, they grabbed an excellent set for the last 8,000 years. It shows the geomagnetic drop at the NOAA event 6,000 years ago, the rise since then, the peak at the Iron Age anomaly about 2,000 years ago, and the modern descent back into the geomagnetic excursion we are in now. This shape is fun when it's a roller coaster, not so much when it's your planetary magnetic shield strength. A reminder that we are still running about a week delayed on our merchandise at otf.sells.com. Kinda had a lot of orders when our new books came out, but we greatly appreciate your patience and support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.